Hello and welcome to week two of the lockdown and another video made of the uh, of the utmost slickness. Well, as usual, I've been getting up to a variety of things. So without further ado, let's get started. Hello and welcome to another episode of the show that is nearly never made. You know, I had an idea to make these videos, but then I suddenly realised I had a problem. Take a look at this, for example. This is a very, very good camera. Uh, the only thing is, I can't find a way of actually connecting it to my computer. And if I can't do that, I can't edit the film. This is very good. Just a normal mobile phone, but very, very good. Good quality picture. Only trouble is, I can't actually put it on a tripod. Alternatively, I've also got this camera, with which I'm using to film this scene right now. It was gifted to me by someone. Thank you very much, by the way. You know who you are. Unfortunately, though, it doesn't have a battery charger. So at any moment, this scene could... Well, thank goodness for mail order. Excellent. Charger's arrived. We're all good to go. And with that, I was able to start work on last week's film. Having completed a few sessions on the rowing machine, I wanted to try something a little different. So I thought, why not use something already here? you thought that was easy, just try going up and down there ten times. Now I'm sure I don't need to tell you that we are dealing with the stairs here, so if you're thinking of giving this a go, do be careful. And if your body is telling you that it's had enough, don't be afraid to take a break. I did several times, I don't mind saying, during that session. And I don't mind saying, even then, my legs were still achy for about three days afterwards. Just bear in mind. No one wants to injure themselves and unnecessarily add to the burden of the NHS at this time. And if the pace is too much, you can still get a pretty good workout just walking up and down the stairs as well. Well, it's the weekend hoping to be taking part in a quiz with some colleagues via social media. Unfortunately we've had to cancel, but hey, let's not let that stop us. After all, there are plenty of quizzes online. And having identified the winners of the Rugby World Cup, game shows by their catchphrases, and the six wives of Henry VIII, I am the undisputed champ. Oh yes. Even though it would appear I can't type it properly. Other things I did this week included participating in the Thursday Night Clap of Honour to say thank you to all the NHS staff and carers for their heroic service during the crisis. And in addition... Now I must confess, I am a little bit of a slow reader, but nonetheless, during the lockdown, 
even though I'm still working from home, I still have a little bit of extra time to myself. So, time to catch up. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and that it might have inspired some ideas to help you beat the boredom during the lockdown. Until next time, stay safe. Thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you again soon. But for now, bye. Should you wish to try any of the activities in this video, please do be sure to take any necessary health and safety precautions. If you're still at school, please do ask an adult to help.